Hello, this is Klaus from Geronimo with a tutorial about how to compute OGE and IGE ceilings. And when you open our apps and go to the performance page, you see that the app not only computes OGE and IGE maximum gross weights, we also compute OGE ceilings and IGE ceilings. And uh, we received a lot of questions how these computations are done and how to compute these correctly. So I try to answer them uh, here in this video. So let's have a look at a performance chart here. This is, in our example, we use the Robinson R44 Raven 2. Here uh, on the left side, we see the pressure altitude. Down here is the gross weight in pounds or in kilograms up here. And we have OAT lines and an ISA line. So a common question now is find the OGE maximum gross weight for pressure altitude 8,000 feet and OAT plus 10 degrees. And this is the first important thing to note here. We always need a combination, pressure altitude and OAT. So uh, we need to need, uh, know both, otherwise we cannot compute the maximum gross weight. Or we need uh, an ISA temperature, however, in an ISA we also uh, have a pressure altitude and OAT information. So how is it, how is it done? So you, we usually go from the left side, pressure altitude 8000, and we intercept the plus 10 degree OAT line. Then we go down to find the OGE uh, max gross weight, uh, 2200 pounds in that case. So that's easy actually. So let's have a look at how to compute the ceiling and we might think that we can use the chart just the other way around. So let's try that. Let's find the ceiling for OAT plus 10 and gross weight 2200 pounds. So can we just go up from 2200, find the plus 10 degree line and can we again then go left to find 8000? That would be the wrong answer because here we miss an important thing. We don't have the combination of OAT and altitude. And every OAT has a fixed pressure altitude. And here for us to compute the ceiling, um, the only way to do it here is to use ISA temperatures. That's the only way to use this chart. And we find this ISA temperature here. This is the uh, ISA line noted as standard day. It's this dotted line here. So now if, you, if we um, ask a different question, if we say, okay, what's the um, cr um, ceiling for 2,200 pounds at ISA temperature, then we go up from 2,200, hit the ISA line and go back, uh, go left to find the ceiling of 8,700 feet pressure altitude. And this is actually how the app does it. So when you set um, ISA condition here and we have 2,200 pounds gross weight, then the app computes 8,700 uh, feet pressure altitude for the OGE ceiling. So now in, in the app it's easy to change the difference to ISA just by using the slider here or you can also change the elevation and that has an effect on OGE. However, you cannot do it using these charts because all you have here is this one ISA line. That's a bit unfortunate. If there would be another one, you could interpolate, but well, we don't have one here. So let's try another example. Let's find the ceiling for ISA and gross weight of 2,300 pounds. So we would go up from 2,300, intercept the ISA line and go left to find a result of uh, roughly 7,400 feet. So, and when we do this in the app, same thing here. So we'll make sure you have 2,300 gross weight set. You can either use the gross weight override here or you can go to the weight and balance page and set, a, set the gross weight and the app will compute 7,400. Again, here we can easily change the difference to ISA elevation and all the others, and you see the effect on the OGE ceiling. However, in these charts, we don't have that. What we could do now here is to draw uh, our own ISA line into the graphic. So 
this would be an example here so all you need to do is go a step to the left here about 10 degrees also here about 10 degrees to the left and then uh, draw this ISA line here that would help you compute um, ISA ceilings for plus 10 or minus uh, 10 degrees ISA however that still would not answer uh, the question if uh, you would have to um, go for a ceiling that you only have the temperature of so let's say you have OAT plus 10 um, and no other information you cannot compute the ceiling by the way, uh, there's a nice way to um, verify all this. So when you go in the app and here's a button that says lock diff to ISA. So when you click this and you change the elevation, then the OAT always stays the same and uh, the diff to ISA always stays the same and the OAT will be computed according to the elevation uh, based on the standard lapse rate. So now when you click here in this graphic, you can open up the OGE chart. This is from the Robinson POH. And now when you um, uh, increase the elevation here, you see uh, at some point at 7,400 roughly, we hit the ISA line and now you see that the computation is correct that um, at 2300 pounds and 7400 the diff to ISA is still zero and we hit the computed ceiling of 7400 uh, feet pressure altitude same thing also works with IGE of course but I think the app is a nice way to play around with um, all the numbers and uh, get quick results uh, so that you can then verify your manual computations. So uh, yeah I hope this makes sense um, it's, an, it's a complex topic uh, yeah it would be great to get your feedback on this. Thank you very much.